and it's done by hey 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 there we go fireworks hello there this is part two of a two-part video series featuring the wind buffet in part one sequence doesn't matter so you could watch that one after this just finished my meal at the wind buffet that's it maybe it got over hyped maybe it got something this and that but this is what happened i ran out of things i want to eat before i got full if that makes any sense uh and that's a sign that this buffet didn't work for me in terms of uh especially at this price point uh i would definitely rather pay the extra 20 bucks or so and go to back and all uh, so let's go to caesar's all right this is in front of Bacchanal, and reservations are strongly advised if you're, if you're diamond and higher you don't have to wait you don't need reservations here you, you don't. just you just go over there i'll show you and you could bring up to three other guests so four total if you're diamond and so you just tell them and they'll just lead you over there the usual dinner price is 79.99 but sometimes they have surge pricing for certain holidays and events Oops, my bad. That was just a display case. The interior scheme is totally different from the one at Wind. Wind Buffet makes you want to frolic around with these bright floral colors. The atmosphere in here makes you want to go around and make big business moves on the buffet stations. Both offer good vibrations. It comes down to are you in the mood to frolic around or make buffet business moves? For me, I prefer to make buffet business moves when I'm at buffets. And I'll tell you right now, Bacchanal's buffet selections is at least two to three times more than Wim Buffet. As you see, the buffet line setup zigzags around from the front of the house all the way to the rear, going through different room compartments with different vibes. Wim's buffet setup was linear and not as exciting as the one here. Boom, right off the bat, this is one of my favorite vegetables of all time, Gailan aka Chinese broccoli. Bang bang shrimp in the back, beef broccoli, crab stir fry, fried rice here, and something Win Buffet didn't offer, roast duck. Yum. Kung Pao chicken, barbecue pork ribs, some clams, egg rolls, sesame balls, and some other stuff, and some condiments here. Har gao, char su bao. Thank you. Lop chong bao. Wow, look at that. Oh, and shu mai. Here is chap che, the most popular Korean dish for potlucks in the US. LA kalbi beef short ribs. Some panchan with kimchi and takwang next to it. Wow. Korean fried chicken and kimchi pokembap. Assortment of edamame as we transition into Japanese food. Ginger to cleanse your palate a medley of poke mini bowls. I think the rice ratio is a little bit too strong here. Rolls of California style sushi here, including spam musubi and a few selection of nigiri. Oh, she's making sushi. Let me watch and learn. Filipino skewers, Vietnamese snail dish. Lechon, dipping sauce, guys. Let's go. All right, grande. Let's go. Beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Already, there's a noticeable discrepancy between Wim Buffet and Bacchanal. A chef will freshly prepare you various ramen, pho, and even Filipino kanji. Unfortunately, kaguksu opsumnida. Oh, they have the preserved century eggs, and here are the other condiments for your noodle soup and kanji. Or is it kongi? Here are some vegetable dishes, including the Cleopatra salad. Fancy looking deviled egg, and a few other items here, including what they call tomato basil tartare. And this is some sort of a vegetable fruit puree. Ooh, cornbread. 
Ooh, check out this charcuterie board. Definitely better than the one they had at Win. Sweet. And if you're here still thinking Win over Bacchanal, I don't know what to say to you, but uh, come on guys, you could even get dates here. How could you beat this? That's pita bread and we're transitioning over to Mediterranean cuisine. I love Mediterranean food. Well, I like food in general, but uh, you know, I wish they had some kebabs here, like some Armenian kebabs, like lula kebab and stuff like that. That would be awesome, because I know there's a lot of Armenians here at Caesar's Palace. A big shout out to all my Armenian friends out there. What up, bro? Hello. Wow, looks appetizing, doesn't it? All right, now we're gonna transition over to Italian food, pepperoni pizza here. And uh, this one is a mushroom truffle pizza. And as you notice, all these pizzas here are deep dish. Grandmama's meatballs. This is the Italian kitchen, and this is the wood fire pizza. Awesome stuff, but uh, they don't offer thin pizzas, only thick crust. Annyeonghaseyo, kimchi. Also, these awesome chefs will make your fresh to made pasta. Enjoy. These are a series of small plates that all look appetizing, including pork shanks, seared rockfish, and chicken pita. Oh, cool. Mexican section. That's chicharrones, nachos, series of salsas, and doros. This is good. This is good, huh? You know, I'm a virgin, so let me do a virgin. Oh boy, I told you. Uh, and for the record, I did clean that up. Nice, I'm getting better. Ooh, all three were refreshing. Cubano sandwich and there's a duck quesadilla in there somewhere. Wow, what an impressive setup. Bidia, some Bidia action. Wow, El Pollo Loco got nothing on this. Oh yeah, pozzoli rojo, and my biggest regret for this buffet session is I forgot to eat this. I should mention this now, but the service here is impeccable. Every time I come, I experience the best buffet service, including buffet interactions with all the chefs. Thank you chefs, your friendly service and delicious food is much appreciated. Oh man, I forgot to taste these ceviches. I love ceviches. I guess next time, these are vegan vegetarian options. They look tasty. All right, now let's start with the carving stations. That's a big old turkey, duck wings, some classic rotisserie chicken here, and some bright vegetables here. They all look so inviting, but uh, I wanna skip out on this for now. These are some interesting salads here. Smoked fish potato salad, spicy watermelon salad, and Texas caviar salad. Wow, what an amazing kitchen setup they have here. They do all the grilling, all the roasting, all the smoking, whatever they do to all these meats, they do here. Beautiful. Bone marrow, Nashville hot kanpachi collar, and lamb T-bone. That's a huge beef steamship, and usually they run 50 to 70 pounds, and this one looks like it's 70 pounds. Down below, sir. Yeah. Is that gonna be enough? Uh, yeah, that's good enough. Can I also get, yeah, the first hit at the five or that? Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Here we are. A little lower if you can, please. So, the three main players are beef steamship, smoked brisket, and the prime rib. Thank you. Yum.
How are we doing, sir? How are you? Sorry, I just... Oh, don't worry. Yeah. I do the top yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yes, sir. All day, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a thin slice of pine rib. Yes, please, thank you. Excellent, please. They should call this pineapple ham the Hellraiser. Ooh, scary. Hey, if you like sausage, go to Wind Buffet. They have a better sausage fest. This is a must eat. This is cream kale, not spinach. This is lobster mac, the Bernie Mac of mac and cheese. Huh, I ain't scared of you, motherfucker. Oh boy, this is chicken wiping soup, spoon bread, and brisket fries. Steamed crab legs. I think you've been waiting for this section, guys. This is the seafood kitchen. Oysters. What is this? Uh, this is lobster bisque. Ahi tuna, butter, shellfish here, and some baby octopus. Hey, good to see you. Thank you. Chilled crab legs. Hopefully they're better than the ones at Wind Buffet. Lobster claws, not offered at the Wind Buffet. These are sea snails, whelks, or in Korean, korbengi. This was real good. Cajun poach prawns, and I'll show you in a moment how delicious they were. All right, now that we got the housekeeping out of the way, it's time to get busy. Ooh, wee! All right, y'all. Round one. I ordered some uh, Japanese uh, sencha. Cajun prawns. I want to just eat the whole thing. I'm just too lazy to unshell this. So, uh, all right, let's try. Wow, so juicy and flavorful. Oh, it's the best shrimp I ever had. So good. I got to taste the head. Oh boy. Sorry if it's a little gruesome for you. Hey Rick, can you hold on to my claw? <laughs> that, that, shit, it's not coming out, shit. I want to lose all the juices. Jonah Crab Claw. Doesn't it look way better than the one they had at Wimba Day? Tasty. This is Welk, and old school Koreans love this, and we call this Korbengi. And we have a Korean dish called Korbengi Muchin. Oh yeah, oh that's tasty man. Woo! This is tasty guys. These crab legs look so much more plump and juicy than the ones offered at Wim Buffet. Bam! Delicious. I don't go all nuts over lobster and shellfish, but uh, I'm enjoying this and I would gladly pay the extra $15 to come over here over Wim Buffet. All right, one take, one bite, everyone knows the rules.
This is ahi tuna with uni. Way better than the ahi dish I had at Win Buffet. Woo. Round one done. Round two, guys. Uh, I had to get some of my favorites, which so far was a, a lots of claw, the fresh shrimp like this, and I really like the escargot. Escargot. Okay. Very flavorful. I liked it. So outside of that, I got a little bit more seafood, little sushi here, and some poke bowls. We'll give that a try, okay? And I went a little international here. I went to Asia, Mexico, that type of thing. Some Peking duck. Some uh, Vietnamese snails. I don't know how you call that, but uh, some kalbi, LA kalbi by the way. Um, some chicken teriyaki. I got some lechon with the sauce. You know what, I'll eat that right now. A little lechon. Oh yeah. Woo. Kimchi bokumbap, which is kimchi fried rice. Kimchi. Bean sprouts. This is Korean panchan. Uh, chapche, which is glass noodles. Walnut shrimp. Fried rice. And El Pastor taco. All right, for all the Koreans in LA, this is how you eat LA Kai Bee, okay? Hmm? And then, the best flavor is right here. You gotta check it out. Mm -hmm. At least this is what the Koreans who didn't grow up rich would say. This is one of my favorite all-time food items. Check out my video for Blossom Restaurant at Aria. Yum! Woo. Wow, that duck was perfect. Juicy, succulent, powerful. Now I need some kimchi to wash that down. Kimchi check. Kong number check. Chapche, annyeonghaseyo. Kimchi bokumbap, annyeonghaseyo. Let's go. You know, I'll balance with it. I, I don't want to get too full off the rice, but. Yeah, that's, that is a lot of rice. Hey guys. Yeah, 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 that's a lot of rice. That's too much. Oh, I learned something earlier. You know what, let me come back to this. It's filming, huh? Yeah. Too much rice. Cut it off. Show your face. Good. Thank you. Uh, one take. <laughs> oh boy. And uh, for the situation, guys, I'm being as sanitized and hygienic with my hands before and after I come back from the buffet station. I promise you on that. All right, let's move on here. This is from Nashville. It's spicy uh, fish. Kampachi collar. All right. And the popular bone marrow. Horseradish. Cream spinach, fresh salt. This is a prime beef or prime rib. You know what? I'll take a taste for you guys right now. Mm. 
This is the brisket, guys. Wow, look at it. It's, it's falling apart. Wow. This is a lamb shank, guys. Wow, delicious. Nothing wrong with this, and I don't usually eat like this, but uh, eating my seafood like this, I just started to eat like this with the meats. Plus, it was easier to film. Bone marrow, this might sound a little disgusting, but I gotta get in. Oops, I did it again. I forgot about this one. Hmm, the one at Wynn was better. Margarita pizza. Nah, it tastes too healthy. So I'm not quite sure what this is, but it's from Nashville and it's, I think it's fish. Oh yeah. It is fish. It's fish collar or fish comma. Ooh, that was generally all delicious and I need some carbonation and one more round of the prime rib and bone marrow before I hit the dessert stand. Come on, I'll take you around the whole dessert stand. Strawberry shortcake and that's a ube dessert. Wow, they all look so tempting. I'm not an egg tart guy, but I really enjoyed this one today. I don't know why, but it was good. The M&M game was way better at Wynn Buffet. This is gelato, right? Yeah. Yes, gelato and So And uh, no sugar added, guys. Thank you. Desserts at Wynn might be a little bit more tastier than here, but uh, the sheer selection they offer here at Bacchanal, oh my goodness, I don't think you could beat this. In a moment, I'll provide a detailed comparative breakdown using numeric ratings. So hang on. No, I'm killing myself. This is called Death by Chocolate, guys. Wow, what a great name. Wow, this is real good. Wow, that's good. These nuts. All right, y'all, we done. Here's the restrooms right out here, but uh, th that was it, man. I'm telling you guys right now, uh, it is what it is. It's a price for one steak. You could get all this for one steak. Which one would you do? I think you would do this. Of course, not every single time, but generally speaking. And to put it in context, when I was leaving Wynn Buffet, I was like, you know what? For this price, I would have rather had a steak dinner, but not here. I really enjoyed this. Ratings based on buffet standards for its price value. 
and hopefully you enjoyed this long video and if any of you made it through the whole video please comment below i want to personally say thank you and for those who made it this far please like comment and subscribe it makes a huge impact on a micro channel like this one all right thank you for watching and come again bye bye